Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how to make the physical connection between your camcorder and your computer using a USB cable. And uh, um, I told you that uh, I would show you more details later. Well, this is part two showing you how to uh, launch the software to capture that video onto your computer. So again, I've already made that connection between the camera and the computer using a USB cable. You can't see that, obviously. And uh, I will uh, turn my camcorder on to uh, the uh, playback and edit mode. And as I showed you in the previous video, I will um, enable USB streaming so that the video comes out through the USB cable and uh, will be sent to my computer. Now I'm going to launch Windows Movie Maker and I'll use that to capture the video. Again, that comes free with Windows XP. And we'll uh, select the uh, menu option to capture from a, uh, a video device. In this case, it'll be my camcorder. Um, and after we do that, we will um, edit the video, um, removing clips, uh, portions of the uh, clip that uh, we don't want in our final video. And after uh, we've done that and we've got the video um, trimmed down to uh, the parts that we want, then we will um, export that video, create a f creating a new file on our computer. Okay, so let's begin uh, the video capture. And uh, you may see more than one camera. Uh, for example, if your laptop has a, a webcam, or you have a webcam attached to your computer, um, I want to select my Sony uh, camera. So that is what's highlighted. And uh, you can just accept these default settings, um, or you could uh, adjust the volume if uh, you believe that uh, is necessary. And then you click um, Next. Now here you can uh, put a, a file name, and uh, name it something that uh, makes sense to you. Um, I just put uh, some name in here, and then uh, that's going to be saved to your My Videos folder under My Documents. Click Next. And uh, a couple of choices here, just select the default um, quality for the video, and then click Next. And here you've got a window that will allow you to start the capture. It will show you preview of the video. Um, on uh, this particular tutorial, it's coming up as a black screen, um, so you can't actually see my videos, unfortunately. Now down here, we've got uh, some choices or an option to uh, um, capture on uh, by time so if you might get interrupted uh, you can set it for say a two or three minute capture uh, I'm gonna watch it so I'm not too worried about that so let's uh, click uh, capture and uh, we'll begin uh, capturing this uh, video and so the video um, is playing on my camcorder and it should appear in this uh, preview window um, although it's not on my particular computer. And I actually hit the capture button and then hit play on my camcorder. You can do it however you want. And uh, you can see the uh, time elapsing and um, as it's uh, capturing. You can also see the file size growing. And uh, you'll get about uh, one uh, meg of file per 20 seconds of video. Uh, depending on the quality that's uh, based on the default uh, quality. So we'll just let this run for, uh, I believe, uh, I'll let it run for approximately two minutes. And um, sorry you can't see my uh, video uh, that's being captured. It's just uh, two girls playing on uh, Christmas morning with some brand new Barbie dolls. Um, now the video uh, that I'm actually capturing is uh, actually several short clips where I hit uh, record and I went in a different position or different angle and I hit record again and then I went to another angle and I hit record again. So there actually are multiple clips. And in uh, Windows Movie Maker, you do have the ability, uh, the software has the ability to recognize those clips and um, divide the uh, captured video into those uh, various clips. And um, I, that's uh, actually a feature that, uh, by default, this uh, checkbox is checked. And that will automatically 
divide your video up into these little clips based on when you hit the uh, record button on your camcorder. So again, we'll let this uh, continue uh, for about two minutes. Um, leave it to uh, divide into clips. We'll hit stop capture and uh, go ahead and stop that and then uh, click the uh, finish button and then we will um, begin this uh, process of editing the video. Now notice I didn't just get a single video file. I got multiple video files because this is digital video and it has that uh, it's been divided up into parts depending on when I hit the uh, record button. And I'll look for the, the video, the longest video and um, I can uh, play that back and of course you can't see that um, um, <clears throat> but that's the uh, video that I want to capture um, that I'd like to uh, post on YouTube and um, you can actually hear I've moved the slider over to the tail end of the video on the right side and you can actually divide that into two clips uh, by clicking this button here that will split the video into two clips, uh, one clip being to the left of that slider, the other clip being to the right of that slider. And here you'll see I took that uh, 1 minute 17 second video and split it into a 1 minute 11 second plus a 6 second video. And I can do the same at the head of the video, moving that slider about 6 seconds in. I can uh, then hit split and I can then um, remove the first six seconds of that video. So now I have a video um, where the uh, first six minutes and or seconds and the last six seconds have both been clipped. So I've got the part of interest. I've got it trimmed down to the uh, region of interest. And so I finished my editing and I'm ready to go into uh, production. So I drag that clip down into the uh, storyboard down below and um, now I'm ready to create a finished or final video. So we click on uh, uh, finish to uh, produce the uh, output, give it some file name uh, that makes sense to you. Again, it's going to go into the My Videos folder. And uh, we click uh, Next, and you can just accept the defaults here, the default quality. Click Next and allow it time to create that uh, video file depending on the length and the quality it could take a little bit of time or a long time and so now that's uh, done and uh, uh, this checkbox will uh, by default uh, be checked and that will automatically play your finished video in uh, Windows uh, Media Player so you could actually um, watch that uh, video to make sure that it uh, meets your uh, satisfaction. So now that that's done, um, I'm ready to upload this uh, video onto uh, YouTube. So here it is in my uh, videos folder. And I'm ready to upload that onto YouTube. Now I'm going to assume that you already have a YouTube account. So you can just open Internet Explorer and uh, go to uh, YouTube, just log in or navigate to the YouTube website and log in if uh, necessary. And uh, you'll see on the YouTube website uh, this button over here on the right to upload a video. And uh, just click on this feature or this button to upload a video. Uh, again here, click Upload Video, um, navigate to the video that you just created, and begin uploading. And while it's uploading, you can fill out um, some of these, uh, the title and the description. Um, you know, give it some cute and fancy name and description, um, something meaningful to you. And save that, and um, it will continue uploading. And that can take... Uh, time depending on the uh, size of the file and uh, once it's uploaded the uh, file will appear under uh, my videos we'll go ahead and wait another couple seconds while that finishes uploading it's 
almost done. It's almost done. I'm still waiting. Okay. And now that that is, has uh, finished uploading, it's not quite ready to view, but you could find it under um, your account under uh, my videos. And uh, here you'll see the video has been accepted, um, but it's being uh, currently being processed by YouTube, so it's not yet available uh, for viewing. But here's the uh, URL up here, or, or up here in the address bar. And you can just copy that URL and uh, send it to family and friends like me, and then we'll be able to view your lovely videos. So I hope this has helped, and if you have any questions,